A big announcement today about Payne College that leaders say is good news for the school's future. Graham Lee joins us now live from the campus of Payne College. And Graham, several different groups are making it all possible. Well, good evening, Jenny, and that's exactly right. There's five local organizations that are coming together and partnering with Payne College, who is getting more than $500,000 for what representatives say is a good effort and opportunity for future students. It's a bright day for Payne College, and even the sun is coming out <laughs> as an indicator of how bright our future is. The Augusta National Golf Club, Bank of America, the United Negro College Fund, EAB and the Community Foundation of the CSRA are all partnering with Payne College. Tuesday, those groups are donating more than $500,000 to Payne. It's more than just money, it's a partnership, and as you heard me talk about during the press conference, a part of this includes the services of EAB. EAB is an educational provider, they have a wealth of information and experts who will lend their technical expertise to Payne College. Attorney Michael Thurman attended Payne College more than half a century ago. Today he serves as the chair of the Board of Trustees. He says that being part of the staff has been a privilege and he's excited to see this money go to making education more accessible. It will go to support the operation of Payne College and to provide scholarships for students in need. Many come from first generation, as first generation college students, low income, moderate income students. Having this scholarship money and support will make college achievable for them. Now Thurman also tells me that this is just a little glimpse of what's to come and what's to come for this college is a total of $30 million that he's expecting to be raised for the college over the next 10 years. For now in Augusta, Graham Lee, WJBF News Channel 6. Jenny. All right, Graham, thank you.